Robert De Niro, Oscar-winning actor, right? He's gotten a few Oscars, yes, right? Yes, totally. Uh, great actor, great guy. Friend. Great New Yorker, by the way. And your buddy? I don't know if you, we would consider each other buddies. You but call him Bobby. I call him Bobby. But, you know, he and Jane Rosenthal are in charge of the Tribeca Film Festival. It's one of the hottest tickets in town. And basically, the two of them started the Tribeca Film Festival after 9-11. After that area was devastated, they wanted people to come back to the area. Now, of course, it's taken on a life of its own. Uh, but recently, a lot of the talk uh, has been dominated about a certain documentary that was scheduled to run in the Tribeca Film Festival. It's called Vaxxed. It's about, is there some kind of link between vaccinations and autism? Now, the guy who made this documentary, read about this in the Times, has been largely discredited. He said there was a link. Now, a lot of good, responsible people think there is a link. However, this guy, apparently his research was rather spotty, and they, he was largely discredited. But his film was scheduled to show in the Tribeca Film Festival until... Until uh, all the controversy. But Robert De Niro uh, took on the controversy head-on yesterday when I asked him about it. I was a little surprised, I guess, when I heard some people uh, didn't, were, not, were sort of against it. But, uh, but at the same time, I didn't want to make it a whole controversy... Um, with the festival and that and this and that, so I said, let me just pull it. We'll we'll deal with it later and so on. And it did get a lot of attention. And do you hope to bring it? Uh, to I might. I'm thinking sec? about that. Working that out but now. It, and I also think we're not in the festival, it. huh? We're not releasing it. No, we're not releasing. I mean, we're. Yeah. It's not at the festival. And obviously, it hits close to home. Sure. So it would be in my own experience my, my one of my kids um, and um, it's just uh, but they keep thinking it was a, an anti-vaccine movie uh, it wasn't an anti my position is not anti-vaccine it's what was put into the vaccine and what was how it was dealt with it's very complicated I still am getting information from people who are much more into it all the time so did you we'll think too fast on, on not showing this movie do you think I listen some people might say we did some people would say we didn't I don't know I get it from both sides what I've been aware of some say we good that you did that some say why did you do that they're all pissed off I don't know I can't really get I, you know it's too, it's the thing is it got attention so it's uh, obviously a controversial issue and part of the issues that we dealt with is is that who it's from, and yeah, and it, it's you know we we're known for our documentary films, and that became that became an issue with with our filmmakers. Okay, so I got the impression yesterday that Robert De Niro wants this vaccine do, va, uh, vax documentary out there. It will not be part of the Tribeca Film Festival, but he thinks it's important enough for people to make their own decisions and to get the. The, the Vax documentary out there it was screened already last weekend at the Angelica Film Festi uh, Film Center. Okay, well, um, what was he like? I have to say he was really in a good mood yesterday. Uh, we had a great conversation. You're going to see more of the interview on Monday. We played a game. I went over some of... He's had some iconic quotes in his movies. So uh, we went over it, and I want you to know that he was able to guess the origins of those quotes. How's that for absurd? Rosanna's there quizzing him about his own movies. Well, because I did it two <laughs> years ago, and he was a little cloudy on a few of he's, I mean, I don't know how many movies he's done. I don't think he sits around watching his own movies. He's too busy making new movies. He says, and we, we address the fact that he's working so much. He says he likes to work. Hey, one thing that's coming out in the um, Tribeca Film Festival, a movie about this moment. Rosanna, we had that guy Hanks on the other day. This is a Colin famous... Hanks, yeah. Famous meeting between uh, Richard Nixon and Elvis Presley and I believe 1970. Elvis was so famous, he could just show up at the White House and essentially get in. Hmm. Uh, and he had a meeting with um, President Nixon. And it's in a new movie called Nixon and Elvis, or Elvis and Nixon, I'm not sure. There's Kevin Spacey as Nixon. Uh, who's playing Elvis, by the way? I don't know. All right, but it has its debut. It's Michael Shannon, Michael I think. Michael Shannon. Yeah. Michael, oh, Michael Shannon. He was in Revolutionary Road. Very good actor. Yes. This is premiering, I believe, at... Uh, uh, Tribeca, right? Yeah. They're going to have a big red carpet thingamajig, and you and I are hopefully... Uh... We're working on People are working on Do we have any people, by the way? I don't know. People... You are sitting with the people. Well, Those by the way, the, the... people always go, um, I'll call your assistant. I'm like, okay, you're looking at her. <laughs> we'll have our people call you. All right. Anyway, we really would like to go. And also, that party looked fantastic with the, the, the candles way, and all that the stuff. The festival opens next Wednesday. And, and like I said, I think on Monday, you're going to hear more from Robert De Niro and Jane Rosenthal about some of the other things that are part of the festival for this year.